in today's video, we are going to be doing the knockout body back and shoulders day two workout at home. So if you don't have a gym, no worries. This is how you can still get in a killer back and shoulder workout. So the first exercise, we're swapping out lap pull downs. So I'm going to be doing resistance band pull downs instead. Now, of course, this is looped around my squat rack, but you could do it on a door frame, just anything sturdy. And now when you're doing this exercise, the further up you reach on your band, the higher the resistance is gonna be. So I'm reaching up really high right here, and this is like quite high resistance. Whereas if I only reach down here, I'm not really pulling much. So keep that in mind, you can kind of adjust the difficulty. And then the other thing that you wanna make sure you do is really focus on the mind muscle connection and the squeeze. So at the bottom, think of squeezing your shoulder blades together. Think of driving your elbows back and down. Hold, and then slowly come back up. So the control in the hole at the top is super important because that's where all the resistance is. Okay, so instead of overhead barbell press, we're just doing single arm dumbbell press, or that's one of the options. So again, I'll most likely, you would most likely have to go higher rep. And the reason I'm doing single arm and standing or single arm is because it just makes it a little bit more difficult. You have to really brace your core, make sure your whole body stays very still, very stable, and only your working arm is moving. So when you're lowering down, you don't wanna lower down too far. As long as your arm is around close to parallel to the floor, it could be a little bit below, that's where you wanna stop. So don't come all the way down or don't stop here. You wanna bring it down around here. So another way to gauge that is dumbbells in line with your ears. So lots of control, really squeezing. So next exercise is cable lateral raise. Now I would actually do this with a resistance band, but mine broke, this is supposed to be longer. <laughs> so instead I would do dumbbell lateral raises. Okay, so I'm going to explain how to do these in a way that makes them more difficult if you don't have heavy, very heavy weight. So let's say I'm stuck with five pound dumbbells. For some people that may be a pretty good amount of weight, but if you've progressed beyond that, what you wanna do is the mind-muscle connection. So what we've been saying a lot, and the reason why is just because when you slow the movement down and really, really squeeze, you can make a lighter weight feel harder than it is. And really focusing on form. So I wanna make sure my elbows are kinda of at the top of the movement. Like you don't want your dumbbell or plate to go any higher than your shoulder. So keep it like that. Don't let your elbows bend too much, but never keep them completely straight. You wanna keep a slight bend. And then think of just, imagine that you're like um, a puppet and that your elbows are attached to a string because your elbows should be leading the movement. And then think of squeezing at the top for a second. And that can make a light weight feel much tougher. So now we are doing eccentric, accentuated, straight arm lap pull downs. So for eccentric, accentuated, straight arm lap pull downs, I'm doing them with my band. You can kind of play around with where you have your hands placed. My band is actually pretty heavy for this exercise, so I bring them down a bit further. If I had them up here, it would be like impossible. So adjust accordingly. And then from there, it's the same. So you wanna come down, squeeze, and then slowly raise up. And again, because this is with a band, you really wanna make sure you're holding and squeezing at the top right here, or technically at the bottom, because this is where the most resistance is. And then you slowly raise back up. When you're doing this exercise, you really wanna think of, of squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you. So pull them down and back. 
You should be feeling this in your back. It is normal if you feel it a bit in your triceps as well. So side to front raises obviously can stay the same as long as you have some dumbbells. But the good thing about these is even if you have something super, super light, like a water bottle, if you really squeeze and go super slowly, like I said, with the lateral raises, it can feel tough. Obviously you'll just have to go fairly high rep and you might want to take shorter rest periods to make it feel tougher, but it's a pretty good versatile movement. When you do this exercise, you want to make sure each portion of the movement is very distinct. So I'm moving my arms up, then I'm bringing them to the front, then back to the side, and then back down. So you don't want it to be just one big sloppy blurry motion. Each point is clearly defined. Okay, so instead of chest supported dumbbell rear flies, my rear delt swap of choice is face pulls. And that's just because for the dumbbell row, I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna do a bent over dumbbell row. So for me personally, my back is gonna get tired doing two bent over exercises in a row. So that's why I chose that. So obviously you could do dumbbell flies as well, but in case you wanted to know the method to my madness. So just like all the other resistance band exercises, you really want to squeeze at the top. Once you've pulled the band towards your face, that's where you want to hold for a second and then lower back down. So as you pull back, you want to think about squeezing your shoulder blades together behind you. You want to be pulling the band towards your face. Then you're just thinking about bracing your entire body. So you're not swinging and then just really focus on the back area of your shoulders. So instead of chest supported dumbbell row, you'll just do bent over row. So make sure your upper body, keep your upper body, obviously you're gonna bend forward, but keep your back flat. Don't let it round, keep your shoulders back and then pull the dumbbells up, keep your elbows in and then lower down. And again, squeeze and hold at the top. If you have a lighter weight, make sure you're really getting the most out of that part of the movement. And those are the exercise swaps for the day two workout. And remember to just push yourself. You're going to have to add reps. Just keep going until it's burning.